Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here for David Wood FX. And uh, welcome to the first Photoshop tutorial. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, it's about time, you know, because I've had it on my channel that I make Photoshop tutorials for seven months and I have yet to actually make one. So here I will finally make one. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Back in September, I uploaded this video called Create an Unstable Lightsaber in GIMP, and the effect that we were going for was similar to the unstable lightsaber that you can get in the Force Unleashed. And it looks pretty cool, uh, but somebody actually requested that I do this in Photoshop. G. Nihilus 1. Um, this was five months ago, so uh, sorry for this being late, but G. Nihilus 1, this one's for you. Okay, so uh, here's the effect that we're be going to be creating today. And it looks similar to the GIMP one, and essentially it is, only instead it's in Photoshop, and I'm using Photoshop CS3. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing to do is to create the base lightsaber, which I've already gone ahead and done here. I'm not going to show you how to do that because there's enough tutorials for that on the net already. But uh, there you can see the effect. Just a nice looking lightsaber. But in order to make it look like this, we're going to have to do some cool effects. So the first thing that I want to do is above this lightsaber image that I have here is I want to um, add a new blank layer and then go to filters render clouds and then I just want to take this and set the blend mode on overlay and you can see some effect going on here next what we need to do is hit control T to bring up free transform and scale this layer down because unlike GIMP which has the options to control the X and Y scale of your noise Photoshop does not do that basically we're just gonna resize this layer to something like this where it's just over the edge of the glow because if we bring that too close then it's gonna get chopped off so it's just past the edge of the glow and hit enter to confirm that selection alright looking pretty sweet already there we have this gaseous cloud like look to the lightsaber which is similar to the actual effect in the game which by the way if anybody wants to send me a copy of the game for the PS2 I would be really glad to accept that and get it off your hands uh, anyway moving on next we'll create another new layer and do the same thing filters clouds and instead we're gonna go to filters render difference clouds here is the effect and as you can see it's got this crazy like crack effect going on but if we go up to the image adjustments invert then you can see we have this lightning like shape going on which looks pretty sweet and we're just gonna go to image adjustments levels and we'll grab the gray slider and push that towards the right like that and we'll do the same thing as the other control T and scale this down and again make sure that it's past the edge of the glow and hit enter co to confirm that now we can s try setting the blend mode of this to overlay which on its own looks pretty cool um, you can see it gives us this lightning-ish wispy effect but we can also try other ones like color dodge which in this case because I see this layer is so bright here it uh, affects the colors way too much which you can go into like the adjustments and bring up brightness and contrast and try changing that and this actually looks kinda cool but I'm just going to set this on to overlay for this example and that looks pretty cool and I can even take this layer control J to duplicate it and then we can fill that in with normal clouds then do difference clouds again control T and scale it down again and this way to hit enter image adjustments invert again and try playing around with more blend modes such as setting this one also on overlay 
which in this case gives us some really bright spots, but then other spots are a lot darker, which doesn't look so good. So instead we can try making this one into more lightning, lighting -y. I gotta find a better word for that. Zappy. There you go. Okay, we'll make it look more zappy. Alright, adjustments, levels, bring out more of the blacks, set this one on color dodge, and see the lightning is already taking effect, but it just goes beyond the edges here too much and makes it look weird. So again, adjustments, brightness and contrast, <clears throat> and click use legacy, and tone down the brightness of this and perhaps lower the contrast a little bit and that looks kinda cool we still have some very bright spots here which is a result of like the clumping of the lightning effect in the middle here so you know you can always use free transform and fool around with this some more um, adjust this to your liking and use different effects and stuff like so and also if you try to avoid getting any of these really bright spots like here uh, try to get more of the just gray in that area because that will really make it look a lot better, in my opinion. Let's see, apply that compared to like overlay. Because overlay is cool, but then the blacks crush out everything, like around here, which doesn't give us a nice glowing effect. So you can go ahead and fool around with that and even try like lower opacities and stuff. But anyway, that is essentially how you make this in Photoshop. Uh, very similar to the GIMP design, which, um, again, there's a tutorial for that on my channel, David Wood FX, and it's a pretty neat thing. Oh, I forgot the lens flare right there. Okay, no biggie. Let's go ahead and merge these layers down onto the other one. See, merge that one down, and we'll merge that one down, and set this on screen just to see how that looks. And it doesn't look too bad. It's a little crazy, but that's okay because this is just an example. And my other version is a lot better, as you can obviously tell from that to that. Okay, um, new layer. Control, backspace, if I had flipped the colors around. Oh well, fill that with in with black, and we'll go ahead and apply filters, render lens flare. Let's kind of position this in the center, like that, and try different ones. Like I like 105 millimeter prime. I think that one just looks awesome. And hit OK set this on screen and move it over here and then obviously we're gonna have to scale this down because this is just kinda crazy and we can color correct this as well so let's go into uh, we'll use curves this time go into blue bring that up go into green bring that up go into just the RGB and add a contrast curve a nice contrast curve like that. Um, go into the red, maybe bring that down just a little bit. And set this on screen. And there you go. Um, wow, that just does not look anything like my other example. I'm sorry. But you get the basic idea of this. But that's it for this quick tutorial. I'm David Wood, and I will see you guys next time.